what's going on guys welcome back to another video um we're here working back on the car today i'm going to teach you guys how to do um how to replace your brake lines on your bmw this tutorial or how to will work on any bmw between e90 e92 e93 basically the e90 chassis but here's the actual brake line uh, i went ahead and replaced the right side because i don't have that much space on that side over there but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the comparison. Hopefully you guys can see, but here is the stock. This is what you get from factory. Just rubber lines, which is, I mean, okay, I guess, but they have potential to bulge, potential to bulge, and um, they can just get ruined over time. And here is the one I bought from uh, Tuner Motorsport. Uh, it's just, they are still braided, but they also are just uh, have like a protective layering uh, and it's just blue. So I bought these uh, for the front and rear. So I have the whole kit. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like on the car because on this side, I already have them on. So coming to the front side of the car. OK, here is the brake line that I have already installed. So obviously it goes to the caliper right there. And you just thread it in there and it comes around. There's a two grommets that it holds onto. And then it goes into there. On there. And when there's a nut on the underside, as you guys can see there, is where it screws in. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I do it on the other side. Now that I actually know. Here's the example on the rear, rear side. Uh, it's a little tucked back there, but there is obviously again the nut on top there and then it comes down here to the caliper right there. So we'll go ahead and start on the uh, the front just to go ahead and show you guys. Hopefully you guys have a decent view um, of the caliper. Um, but all you really need uh, to do this job is really uh, an 11 millimeter wrench for the uh, the small nut and then a 916 uh, wrench for the uh, the actual bolt, I guess you could call on the caliper. So, and I would also recommend a pair of gloves just because the brake fluid does get everywhere. So, and there's no real way to uh, stop it from pulling unless you have something or someone to hold down the uh, brake pedal. So, what you wanna start first is, uh, I'd recommend taking these grommets off. So, then you can take the far part uh, nut and actual brake line off because to take this part off, you actually have to rotate the whole brake line. So there's no real way to rotate the whole brake line if it's connected all the way over here. So you have to disconnect the grommets and then the far side and it will leak a little bit. So the faster you do it, the better. And then you can finally undo this and then you just uh, reinstall the new one reversely. So you install this, make it all the way tight and rotate the whole brake line. And then you can put the uh, far end on and then finish off with the grommets. So hopefully we have enough light here. It's very hard to show this just because the caliper only goes so much. So like I said, here is the brake line. Obviously for this, you have to turn the whole brake line to it will loosen or tighten it. Therefore it has to be the last thing you do. And this was on the far side, so this is what you have to loosen up. So coming up close, this is the nut right here under is what you want to loosen up. And then after you loosen this up, this whole thing will be able to pop up and off. So just like that, the whole thing is loose. As you can see, it dropped down and we can pull up on this now. And now this is loose for us to mess with and dangle. So now I can pull this off this way. Two. All we have left is to get rid of, uh, see if I can find it. Uh, there it is. This nut right here slash bolt. It's actually a bolt, I believe. And it just screws in there, but it will loosen and it will turn this whole brake line, which is why we loosened it up first. And once again, with the 916. Just 
does loosen it up. Like I said, you do have to rotate the whole thing for it to come loose, which is why you want to install this side first when you're putting the new one in. There's a whole brake line. See, it's more of like a, a nut and a, well, I guess you can call it a bolt altogether. So there's the old one. Now with the new, of course, installing this side again first, which can be tricky. And then once you think you've got an all hand tight, I'd give it a good few turns with the wrench. Well, you guys can see anyways, yep, you ride it back that way. Like I said, it will keep leaking. So try to do this in a fast manner. And then you just put this on top of there and you screw it, the nut back on. Just like that to get hand tight. Then once again, back with your 11 millimeter. Then you just go ahead and tighten up so she stops leaking. And then once you get to that point, just give it a good little snug. Now, the real last part is getting these uh, grommets to get into these uh, little metal brackets, which is I mean, it doesn't seem that hard, but these are very thick and gummy. So, I mean, your whatever product you use, but I will link these below. They might be too thick or gummy for your bracket. So what I actually end up doing is just spraying some uh, WD-40 on them and it just helps it slip on a lot easier. Just I'll add a little bit around the grommet on each one. Let it soak in for a little bit. See, with more WD-40, it does slip on, but like I said, can get a little bit messy. Okay, there. Now, once again, we can clean up for the last time. And that's how you install your new front brake lines. So now coming to the rear, as you guys now, as you guys saw that front change, the rear is a little bit more easy because you don't have to really turn this and it's only a one way direction. But basically you just loosen this up as well as this one. But like I said, you want to unscrew this nut first and then you can unscrew this so the whole brake line can turn with it and then install your new one. I'm gonna go ahead and knock this rear one out real quick. Uh, like I said, pretty easy, pretty similar to the front one, but just smaller, so it's a little bit easier to rotate the whole actual brake line. So I'm gonna knock it out real quick. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we are finished with this side. There she is tightened up and turn in up top. There's the nut, we cleaned up everything. There's the mess. There's the old one right there. But just like I said, guys, that's pretty much it for today. That's how you change your uh, brake lines on your BMW E90X. I'm gonna go ahead and link these in the description for the uh, Tuner Motorsport ones. Um, I actually got the all wheel drive kit by accident. So I have these two as extra, but I am pretty positive they are they cost the same. But I'm going to go ahead and link these down as well for the all-wheel drive. It's really just two extra brake lines. Not really sure it's for the front or rear, but I'm, I think it's for the rear. But that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, one more thing. If you do it the way I did and brake fluid is leaking, make sure to check your brake fluid level uh, before you drive and after you drive. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys in the next one and hope you guys enjoyed.